I'm feeling spicy, so here's my hot take of the day. You're joking. Not another one? All white people are racist. Every single last one of them, all of them are racist. And I don't mean that to say like every single individual white person, if I talk to you, you would have some kind of racist ideology. I'm saying that as a white person, you uphold a system of racism by literally just being white. Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly, I can't stand this. I believe if you're not spending your literal entire life dismantling racism, then you're contributing to its continuation. And people get so like, <gasps> whenever like I say like people are racist, like why is it such a big deal like yes you're racist like okay we've established that now what are you gonna do to change it shut your stupid ass up. racism refers to power and race if you are the powerful race in a society then you're fucking racist like i just don't understand why it's so taboo let's talk about it let's accept it so that we can work towards changing it we're never gonna get anywhere and people won't just acknowledge it in the first place it's funny how she talks about talking about it but she's trying to shut the whole conversation down and yeah, she's saying, let's talk about it. You know, this is when they say, let's talk about it. I think what they mean is accept what I'm saying and then build a conversation based on this premise that I just made, even though it is ridiculous and stupid. That makes no f***ing sense. You know, what we should acknowledge in, in everything she just said are two things. First, she has the fashion style of new pump on a budget. Girl, you look ridiculous. Second, and most importantly, you clearly don't have a dictionary. And if you do, you don't read it. Racism has nothing to do with being powerful in society. You know absolutely nothing about racism or hatred against an ethnicity. You know nothing about it. Like, do you know how many tribal wars have been fought on this continent, claiming countless lives? These wars were between two tribes that hate each other so much. And what about anti-Semitism? Is that not a form of racism? And aren't Jewish people influential, powerful? The Holocaust isn't about race. What the hell? Besides, are you saying black people in America are just powerless, helpless bombs? So powerless they lack the capacity to hate? So black people can't hate other races? Such a very ridiculous, stupid statement. Everything is all about power for these people. It's all about power. As in, how ridiculous can you be? How can you be so drunk on the communism Kool-Aid that you, 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 just, you, just, you just don't have the ability? to think and see just how stupid and racist you sound. Are you stupid or something? And the funny part is, if the funny part for this lady is, she's half white. Interesting. So I guess she's half racist against her, her, her other half. How exactly does this, you know, innate racism work? Is she, is one part of her, you know, holding some, some, some kind of racist, I don't know, privilege, whatever, against the other half? This stupidity is just too profound. And this is the result of Western education, I guess. Well, next video. Ha! Ah, just pathetic. I mean, I don't even know what to say to this person. Like, just continue. You know, in life, you either learn or you become a lesson. But you're gonna find out. You hear me, miss? You're gonna f***ing learn. To have to make this ridiculous video is all the proof we need to just know how how miserable you are. Nothing screams I am so miserable better, you know, than a video of you showing that you are not miserable. If you have to prove it, say yeah, I'm not miserable. Uh, it's a clear indication that you are pretty miserable. So please continue. Soon, soon you won't be able to lie to yourself because you know that you are miserable. You know, you know, part of you know, but very soon it will be so obvious that you can no longer lie to yourself. But by then, it will already be too late. But continue. If any young women are watching, please do not model your lifestyle after her. Thank you very much. <coughs> and that's from the Christian man. Yes, I'm looking out for you, young ladies. If you I'm ever, not judging if you. you ever, that's fine. But if you ever want to get married, there's a lot of young girls out there who want to get married someday. If pictures of yourself doing sexual things are all over the internet, your husband and your kids will not appreciate that. Emotional damage! What are your kids going to think of this? They're I think Northwest is doing asshole. just fine. No Northwest? Yeah, she's living uh, her life. Kanye's. Yeah, yeah she's doing great with her mom. Yeah, I mean, given the option between a mom who has porn on the internet versus one who doesn't have porn on the internet, I would prefer if all of my friends couldn't see my mom fucking on the dates and sucking on the dates. I still no consider myself a Christian. I still consider myself a Christian. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. And I'm not a f***ing judgmental person like you. I mean, where, where do they find these women? Like, where do they 
manufacture this kind of dumb bimbos what is going on in your head wow lady yes yes we are judging you the whole world is judging you even the men who pay to watch you on only fans are judging you breaking news everyone makes judgments that's how our species have been able to survive on this planet to this day we are judgmental beings and those of us with better judgment prosper and flourish and the ones with poor judgment like yourself perish the reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass and you claim to be a christian right Paul the Apostle said, he who is spiritual judges all things. He later said, if we judge ourselves, we will not be judged. See, madam, if you had judged yourself, no one will be judging you. <laughs> when Jesus said judge not, he meant don't make wrong judgments. Don't judge people wrongly. That's why Jesus is called a just judge because his judgment is just and accurate. And that statement, don't model your life after this woman, is a just, accurate judgment. And make no mistake make no mistake immorality will not inherit the kingdom of god what you are doing has no place in god's kingdom has no place in the kingdom that christ came on earth died was buried and resurrected what he came to establish what you are doing has no place in it you say you believe in jesus you do well even the devil believes and trembles that's why faith without work is dead and meaningless. Your claim of being a Christian and an OnlyFans model is an oxymoron. It doesn't make sense. It is dumb. It is ridiculous. It is also a mockery of the Christian faith. It is a mockery of the sacrifice of Jesus which you claim to believe in. Also, Northwest is doing, is doing well. Did she call you on the phone and tell you that? Was that what she told you? I mean, how many interviews with the grown-up children of celebrities do you have to watch before you realize that they are, they, these people have very messed up lives? You think a child of Kanye West and Kim Kardashian is doing just fine? How delusional can you be? Did someone shove a vacuum up your nose and suck out your last lonely brain cell? Continue. You either learn or you become a lesson. You know, one thing that the world needs more these days are modern day cautionary tales a lot of them a plethora of them we need them in abundance so our people can learn and thank you for choosing to offer this service to humanity you know some people are too stupid to have opinions you know what i mean like they haven't earned the right to have opinions <laughs>